YouTube and I wanted to make a quick video to explain something that I experienced and it might save you some trouble uh, maybe injury and some money if you run a dump trailer um, there's a couple things to keep in mind and it's not limited to this but this is an experience that I had and it just came to me a couple days ago a good friend of mine um, had it happen to him and he put a picture up online and said how he jackknifed his dump trailer and damaged his truck real bad and probably his trailer so I have a couple pictures I don't have video because this was before I was really making a lot of videos and uh, so there's no video of it but I have pictures of the aftermath that I can put up and I have one picture of his but as you can see I'm standing here in front of this older damaged truck because I never fixed it but the trailer actually when it jackknifed me got into the bedside right here and damaged this I never fixed it because it was a work truck and not really worth it at the time actually this whole bed needs replaced now but um, damaged here and caved this in down here is pretty much my primary damage on the truck um, it also damaged my dump trailer I'll show you the, st the box where the pump and everything is housed stuck outside of the frame um, it got smashed you'll see in the picture I replaced it myself with the, I just put a tractor supply box sitting on top of it clamped it to the frames it works fine you can't even tell on the trailer anymore that it was in uh, in this incident other than the one upright has a little bit of a bend to it but you can't even tell so I wanted to explain what happened and uh, a couple things that you could do to probably avoid it um, because there's I mean millions of people now can get dump trailers that are affordable and a lot of people run dump trailers that are heavier and bigger than their trucks capability my 14 footer loaded with five tons is actually a little bit more than this truck should be handling I mean it's fine on the road it does it all the time but once you get off-road and you're on hills or you're in mud or anything like that uh, it could be very sketchy and that's why I'd, whenever I started my business I wanted to get dump trucks I didn't want somebody working for me driving my truck and trailer because not only if one time I loaded the material far back to get less tongue weight and then it started swerving on me like a death sway and it was like actually dragging the whole back of my truck from side to side and no ever I, Ever since that happened, I always was very cautious. But um, so back to this, uh, what happened to me? I had my dump trailer on the back. I was delivering to a customer. I uh, this was the second load. The first load, I missed the driveway. I was coming down a hill, uh, and passed the driveway. So I went down to the next road, turned around, and came back, which was a good thing because this driveway, when you're coming down the hill it would have been a, a like 120 to 140 degree turn into the driveway you make a right turn into the driveway and it comes it goes down and back this way so the first time I missed it I went down turned around came back so it was actually like a straight shot into the driveway should have done it every time because they got multiple loads but this time I came down, I slowed down, I made the turn into the driveway. The roadway is like way up here and then it comes down like a pretty steep drop off and immediately immediately it comes down and makes this hard turn back and goes back this way. So it's like 120, 140 degree back. And what happened was when I made that turn, I'm coming, it's down a steep grade. It's not real far, it's only maybe... 30 40 feet like down and back so when I come off the roadway and come down I have five tons in the trailer um, I was I've pulled the trailer a lot I wasn't brand new but things like this you don't think of and I'll explain when I came down the trailer started pushing my truck um, so I started making that turn when I started making that turn the trailer wanted to keep going straight downhill and my truck was trying to go this way so my initial thought when I was always thinking, I have my uh, trailer trailer brakes turned all the way up, and uh, my truck, I don't know if it was in four-wheel drive yet at the time, probably not because I was towing, 
so I'm probably still in two wheel drive. But uh, my initial thoughts are lock up the brakes, put the brakes to the floor. You got your trailer brake controller will lock up and get me stopped. Bad idea because actually this was a gravel driveway and it, I, I'll tell you it happens in grass too or mud. But uh, I just locked up the brakes and I thought I would get stopped. Well, what happened was the trailer the trailer brakes locked, my truck brakes locked, but the weight just turned into a sled. It's on gravel, so even though all the tires were locked up, it just gravity took over and the trailer just pushed my back end around down this hill. I'm kind of facing up the driveway. But uh, the trailer just kept pushing straight down, and there was big trees. My truck stopped on that side, probably two feet away from a big oak, or it would have smashed that side in too. Um, and then I just pulled out of it, basically. Uh, I think I can't remember how I ended up getting out of it because it was downhill in my truck. I believe I just kind of drove out of it. But so what I wanted to tell you is how to avoid that is and what I didn't think about my thought was lock all the brakes up lock the trailer brakes up but it turned into a sled and just slid so if that happens to you and you can do it hit your gas as long as there's nothing in front of you just if I would have on that I could have saved everything the damage and all that from happening if I would have just hit the gas on my truck instead of hitting the brakes it would have pulled that trailer tongue around and it would have went out the driveway so if I would have hit the gas I probably could have pulled out of that instead of trying to lock up the brakes and it just you know owned the back of my truck so the other good point here is always when you're going to be on a job like that be in four-wheel drive I tend to lock in my hubs four-wheel drive low because in four low um, it uses lower RPMs and I can be at low RPMs basically just above idling and I can pull that uh, five well five tons in a dump trailer through a yard or up a grade whatever if I'm in, not in four low my trucks like screaming high RPMs to pull that load but it just the tr it's easier on the truck if you're in four low um, pulling a heavy load so yeah, then one other time that happened to me also, and I knew what to do. I was, uh, I had a load, a load of gravel, and this guy didn't have any room to turn around, so I had to go into his yard. The yard was solid, but I had to go into his yard. It was down a grade, um, and turn around to come back out his yard to get back on the driveway. I was still loaded. So basically, I come in his driveway, and then he was like, just turn through the yard and go back up the driveway, and then you can back it in. So, instead of just backing down off the road, which is a better option probably. So, when I made the turn off his driveway, got in his yard, which is downhill, um, wet grass is a bad factor with the tires also. Now, you just start slipping, you lose traction. Um, I was in four-wheel low, four-wheel drive, low range. So, when I went off of his driveway into the grass, I felt the trailer start to push the back of the truck down. Because it's the, now I'm kind of going down, and my truck's kind of facing this direction. I'm trying to turn out of it, and uh, the trailer was starting to. I felt it pushing my back end that way. It was a flashback from the last time. So, I was in four low. I just hit the gas and it just brought the trailer around and I pulled right out of it. So that same scenario would have happened again if I would have just tried to lock up the brakes because that wet grass, everything's just going to slide. But uh, I, just, I knew what to do. But I wanted to share it with you guys. So if you ever get in that scenario and you're heavy and you're on gravel or something that's going to slide, it shouldn't happen on a... On a paved surface unless it's icy but uh, any loose gravel yard mud keep that in the back of your mind and kind of have an escape route if you can be in four-wheel drive even if you're not hit the gas and try to bring the trailer around otherwise you're gonna end up with damage to your trailer 
damage to your bed and I'm sure it works in flatbed trailers and everything else not just dump trailers but uh, I wanted to share that with you because a lot of people are running dump trailers now and not everybody's experienced or they might have the same mentality as me something goes wrong like that just lock everything up but it's still gonna damage your uh, equipment so wanted to share with you guys to be in the now learn from my mistakes um, feel free to make any comments. Uh, I don't care if you say that I suck at driving or can't pull a trailer. It's whatever. Um, I, I don't get offended by YouTube comments or if you're going to make YouTube videos, uh, you can't really get offended because there's a lot of trolls out there. But, uh, yeah, I hope some of you can learn from this. Just keep it in the back of your mind and uh, stay safe. Thanks for watching.